Uh, Delaney Hill, I'm 24, and I'm from Austin, Texas. What do you do for a living in Austin, Texas? I am freelance. I do stagehand work, so I set up festivals and concerts mm. and sometimes random corporate events. Um, I just spent two months in Atlanta. I also worked on a, a film set. Not a film set. It was a TV show. Mm. What show? I'm not allowed to say. Oh, also, don't forget to subscribe. Is one of the first 50,000 subscribers here will win $1,000, and we're getting really close. Um, and an exhibition. Okay, and probably some good gigs around here with lots of live music, concerts, and stuff like that? Yeah, just got done with a festival this week, and then right before I left for Atlanta, I also was working a festival. So there are a lot of, especially with EDM going on, there's a lot of okay. EDM festivals. Okay, yeah, our last guest was talking about that too, <laughs> interestingly <laughs> enough. So freelancing, that is yes. up and down a lot. Mm -hmm. What do you think, on average, you bring in on a monthly basis? Me? Yeah. Um, from what I've looked at, I seem to average around 4000 a month. Okay, 4000 a month before taxes, and you're setting money aside for taxes? I am indeed. What percentage? 30%. Okay, cool, cool. Thank so you. you have like, what, 2600 really? Um, no. I get a quarter of each paycheck because I set aside 10% for my loans, uh, 25% for living, 30% for taxes, <laughs> Okay, wait, and then 10% goes into savings. Okay, but about 2600 is what you have to play with that you put places. Because you're required to set aside like the amount for right. taxes, and then the rest, right. that can go towards paying things off or savings. Right. Okay, and then you divvy up those percentages further. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Uh, let's get into that in just a second. But for now, okay. your $4,000 becomes 2000 $600, which sucks, but <laughs> is what it is. Now, yeah. you said you break down into other categories. Say mm -hmm. those again. So for loans, because I have student loans, mm -hmm. uh, it is 10%. 10% of my, say, or if each paycheck goes mm -hmm. into that account. And then 25. 10% of the pre-tax or post-tax? So, the so my entire paycheck, yeah. what I do is I have one account. Mm-hmm that I set aside my like rents and utilities, mm -hmm. my loans and my taxes. That is the bank account I am not allowed to touch. That money has specific destinations. So 30% of that is set aside for taxes. 25% of that is set aside for living and 10% is set aside for loans. And when you say living, before you mentioned just rent and utilities, is anything else included in that, or is it just rent and utilities? It's just rent and utilities, and half the time my housemate doesn't ask for utilities. <laughs> still, oh, wait, okay. still waiting for a few. So there's like a lot of money in that bank account because there are a few months of utilities that I'm still waiting mm. to pay her. Why don't you just pay her? I've thought about it, and I'm going to ask her about it tonight, but I've been out of town, and sure. she's a teacher, very different. Mm. Work schedules. What's your rent? Uh, eight fifty for each of us a month. Okay, eight fifty. Yeah. yeah, I mean that's yeah, it's a decent amount of your post tax, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. So you start with four thousand dollars, then from the fourth ah, from the four thousand dollars we take away one thousand four hundred for taxes, then we take away four hundred dollars for student loans. Then we take away $850 for rent. And then what would you say the average utility monthly bill is? Um, That's the thing. I've only, so I've only been living here since February. I mm. moved in with them in April. The first time I paid utilities was like June. And then the next time was for July and September. So if I remember correctly, I think like the rough estimate was like around a hundred was my share. I can look it up real quick, but I don't remember. No, I think that's I've, fine. A hundred is like your twice. share? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so after all mandatory things are done, we have $1,250 to play with. Honestly, that's more than I <laughs> thought. <laughs> well, money seems to just escape after that. Yeah, I, I just like also build my budget very differently. How do you build your budget? I I don't even know how to explain it. It was something that I started, I think my senior year of college is when I really started like looking at like 
big budgets because that was when I was like, yeah, yeah, I finally get to be a financial dependent, like independent, <laughs> and I'm no longer like claimed on my parents' taxes, and like I'm also like needing to start to save up for all of this. Um, so it's a weird kind of hodgepodge that has morphed and grown and just looks differently, and it changes depending on what I'm trying to save up for. Mm. So like sometimes I'm just trying to save up for like a friend's wedding that I'm going to. Sometimes it's saving up for a two month trip out of the state. Okay. It just, it depends. It's just a spreadsheet on Excel that like I update every once in a while (laughs) that just ebbs and flows. Okay. All right. Well, we'll talk about it. Let's look into your checking first. Okay. We had a beginning balance of 1,405. 1,824 was put in. So very slow month. We're, this this is from September, right? Because so if so, then yes, August is pretty slow. Between, yes, mid September to mid October. Yeah. Yeah. It was so the summers are not great for festivals and concerts because it's really hot in Austin. Yeah. So, yeah, it was, it was pretty slow. So, what do you do in that situation? Because this is less than half of what you said your average mm-hmm. was. Um,. I don't even know why it looks that... I'm actually really curious about that. (laughs) I know that doesn't sound good, but, like, I always, like, keep up with it. Um, Well, the deposits in, there were 150 from instant transfer from an account you have, then another transfer, another transfer, another transfer, only Mm -hmm. two payrolls, so a lot of your money... $150, $600, $89, $89 $150, $600, $89, dollars were transfers from other accounts that you already had. Mm-hmm. Yes. So. Can I look at that real quick? Just because, yeah. like, I really, just, it was less I than $1,000 that came in from payroll in those 30 days. Okay. So, yeah. So I got paid for the festival. And then. Yeah, I don't think a lot of my paychecks hit until after this. Yeah. Yeah, so a lot of, so I was working during some of this time, and I didn't get paid until mm-hmm. after the statement was done. Right. So that is why it looks lower, because I know that I looked at it recently. Um, it was, well, I was in Cersei, not that that means anything to you. Um, so it was about two weeks ago, two or three weeks ago, when I looked, sorry, when I looked at it again. Um, and I know that it was lower, but it was only like lower by a 1,000. Okay. So I know it on that statement, it looks like I made half, but I know I didn't. It just didn't hit the bank during that statement period. No, I got you, and that's why freelance and ebb and flows. Yeah. Because at this point, at the end of the statement, you had $171 in your checking account. That's scary. It's a bit spooky. It is indeed. <laughs> what do you do in that situation? Um, Obviously, transfer from other accounts, because that's what you were doing throughout the month. Yes. Um. So when I know I have income coming, I transfer it from my savings. So really, you lend yourself the money and then you pay yourself back. Half the time, Instead yes. Half the time, I just ahead. have to swallow it and I have to just take it out of savings and I just make sure savings does not go below $3,000. Yeah, yeah. So even with this, even while living on some of the things, we had like beautiful lives being spent on... Pilot, Chick-fil-A, some parking, mm-hmm. German-French thing, ton-ton ramen, hop-around parking, web studio, movie, an Apple subscription, Dunkin' Donuts, Smoothie King, <laughs> Culver's, love Culver's, Firehouse Subs, an mm-hmm. Adobe subscription, Dairy Queen. So mm-hmm. we're spending a good amount of fun money when we barely have any money. So some of that fun money is actually me eating mm-hmm. because when I'm on gigs... Half the time we are not supplied food, and because I was in Atlanta, mm-hmm. I wasn't able. But you were to in Atlanta it. for a couple months. Yes, I was in Atlanta for two months, and so so you can go grocery shopping for two months. It's not like a I, weekend. Stint. I did go grocery shopping for some of those, but then I was in someone else's house, and it's just ham and weird. cheese. Ham and cheese. You don't. I know. Have to cook I, ham I, and cheese. I know. I make ham and cheese all the time. I wasn't weird because it was weird because like storing stuff in their fridge, and also I didn't have the money to go grocery shopping yet. So. But you were buying food. I know. I know it's messed up. I know it's. Well, messed no. Up. It's I, like, don't, I don't. I don't. I actually don't. <laughs> I don't have money to go grocery shopping, so let me. Which go I spend. should. Which I should. 
would, yeah. Or maybe it was a time, I don't, I'm going to be honest, I don't remember what it was. Some of those, yes, it was because I was meeting up with friends and needing it. Some of it because I don't know why I went out to eat instead of making a sandwich. I genuinely don't. And mm-hmm. I wish I hadn't a and it's reason. Not and like, going I know I should. It's and not- I know better. Okay. Like, I, I know going out to eat is more expensive than making a meal. That's why I always, like, I always try to pack my lunch. And I don't know on those days why I didn't. It's I not that going out to somewhere. eat is inherently bad. It just depends on the financial situation. For right. that month, I'm scared with that closing balance. I'm right. like, ah. And I really don't like transferring from savings multiple times. I don't either. <laughs> yeah. Uh, some of those transfers... Also, okay, so one of my bosses paid through Cash App, and my Cash App was set up oh, okay. with that one. So some of that, I had to take it into the rent loans ones. That's where it was deposited, and so then I had to... Because I, I only transferred twice from my savings a month. So yeah, some of those, true. I was getting my paycheck. That's fair. Uh, that is fair. I can understand that. Now, let's talk about the savings. You said you don't okay. like it going below 3000 Yes. Well, good news, 3000 Six cents. So it is, <laughs> we are above that. Yes. Now, yes, you're transferring from checking. So I want to understand this. So okay. you set 25% for living, mm-hmm. 10 for student loans, and then mm-hmm. uh, what was that, 30 for taxes. Mm-hmm. Then do you, tr- does that transfer 10%. into here? I also, no, another 10% goes into savings. An additional 10% into savings? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. My bad. I forget to relist no, that. No worries. <laughs> So after that mandatory, which is a good mandatory, by the way, that actually leaves you with 850. Mm-hmm. So where is that? Where is that transferred to? All in here? All those percentages? Are they in here? No. So this is my savings and this is only 10%. And this, so this is, is the, the one that I, this is the one where I would like to be saving up for stuff, like whether it be things that I need for my career or just like other things sure um or just the reason i don't want it to go below three thousand like medical emergencies things like that um yeah. or if i get in a slow month and i need to yeah. pay rent pay my credit card bill all that jazz i have some opinions on that that i will share shortly, i'm but that's sure okay. you will there's a story i'm sure with <laughs> what is on that statement um and yeah, so well, I was going to excuse the transferring to checking account if this is where like rent was going and if this was where, like where everything's going. Mm-hmm. So where where's this twenty five percent for rent being? It's in this. Is it it's this within one? a different bucket. Yeah. So oh, so this these one, are different. Yeah, these are two different accounts. Oh. This is all from that month. That's it. Oh. And then these two. Gotcha. Yeah. Very good. So, okay. So, in the savings was the 3,006 cents that we talked about. Mm -hmm. What I don't like, 566 being transferred to survival, as you (laughs) call it. Or, well, no, this one actually went to credit. Yeah. And then 600 went to survival. Mm -hmm. So, I don't like either of those. And the cash app I didn't see coming here at that time. So Yeah, that's just because it's always labeled 10%. So whether it's so the cash app comes, so this one into went into your rent one. one, yeah. So the or, cash so, app, sorry, the cash rent app was, loans taxes, yeah, because the last time I used cash app was to pay my roommate back for utilities. So six hundred came from so. just straight up savings. Yes, to your checking. Mm-hmm. All right. Now I do see the PayPal. So mm-hmm. PayPal. This was PayPal out though. That's so. my rent. That's how I pay rent. Gotcha. Yep. That links up with that eight fifty. That makes sense. And it looks like you do your Department of Education in, like, small little payments? Like, like No. That's just how it shows up on my transaction. It's all okay. one move, but I, I choose which amount goes into what group because I just want to make sure it's paid off in the way I want it to be paid off. The higher interest ones first, I'm assuming? Hi, yes, higher interest, yes. Okay. And then, yep, so that continues on the next page with another student loan payment. Then 365 went to... HPX week one. What's that? Yes. So this went to my checking account. And so I was labeling what the, what the payment was. So that's the, what was that payment? That was the Harry Potter exhibition. So HPX was the, um, 
acronym that they used for that show run. So that's my paycheck, and it came into into here from there. Yeah, and came into this one because of Cash App and okay. where that was. And then you transferred it back. And so to then them. I okay. transferred the twenty five percent out. Very and so. Very so fair. I knew that there were two other payments coming. Okay. Yeah. No, that's great. And then uh, transferred to, uh, and it says, well, it's 146, 10%. Mm-hmm. Right. That goes to, it'll be in there. Into savings. Okay. Wow. So yes. this, it goes from, your savings goes from checking to this savings to the other savings. <laughs> it goes through two different things. So, so this is. Does all payment think, come into here? I think here? this, no, just whenever I had to transfer it from, I know it's like all crazy this yeah. is a very frustrating month for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so one boss paid me through Cash App. Yeah, I had to get the cash. I had to get the money out of Cash App to my bank account. It was oh, linked I'm getting it I'm to getting that it. bank account. Ten percent of the Cash App went. So to then, the- no. So all of the Cash App went to that bank account. So then, once it was all deposited in there, I had to then divvy it instead of be- it being in my checking account. And I take that percentage and put it into this account and then 10% into savings. I had to do it to where 25% went into my checking account. Okay. And then ten, does that make sense? I think so. Okay. Now, do you pay your taxes quarterly or annually? Um, quarterly is the goal, but because I just became freelance. When did this start? When did this start? Freelancing. Freelance? Full time. April slash May. Okay. Like this all just started this year. So we're still trying to figure out what all is happening. When I say we, I mean like you get it. Okay. Sorry. No, yeah, this is burping, <laughs> but I was trying I to not burp into the here. <laughs> so I was like, Oh, audio got away. <laughs> I'm sorry. No. Um, so when I say we, I mean like I'm getting, okay. So my brother-in-law and my sister are both CPAs. Okay. So I talk to them about it sometimes, and I also helpful. talk to my mom about it sometimes because my yeah. mom was also um, um, not freelance, but self-employed. So you're the rebel. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Very much so. Okay. So $2,710 is what's in the rent mm-hmm. loan taxes account. So some yes. of that is for rent and loans, probably still in there, until um, it transfers out. Yeah, so a good chunk of it is taxes because yeah. I missed my September payment. For taxes? Mm-hmm. Because for the so that quarter, that previous quarter? Yeah, that quarter I missed it because I was on the road and still trying to figure it out and I talked to my brother in law about it and he's like, just wait until January and I said, Cool. Is this what's in here enough for two quarters of taxes? Uh it seems pretty it feels pretty low. I haven't double checked yet. I was planning to do that last week, but last week was hecka busy. If four thousand dollars a month is the average as suggested, then thirty mm-hmm. percent of that for two quarters would be seven thousand two hundred. Then again, maybe right. four thousand. Were you being a little optimistic with that when you said that was the average? I just said it was the average because there are some months that They're are higher, higher some lower. months in lower. So when are the highers because this two thousand seven hundred is very mm-hmm. far from seven thousand two hundred. Right. Um, Have we just been in the lowers these last two quarters? Yeah, I'm just gonna say I know I know I have. Like I'm not even gonna say probably. Like I know it's been slower because I have been working every day. Okay. Now I love that you have a support system of CPAs, so that's good. They'll yeah. definitely help lead you in the right path. That mm-hmm. number of two thousand seven hundred ten makes me a little nervous, mm-hmm. but if it's because everything's been slower, then yeah. I, I feel that your support system is good enough to help you with how much you need to set aside with taxes where I won't stress about that too much. <laughs> now, of course, you transferred from savings, your $3,000 savings, your regular savings, to credit for $566. Mm-hmm. Is this the Capital One Quicksilver card? Is yes, that what that that's was? the only credit card I have. Okay. Now, you made purchases of $1,510, which, again, $850 is the cash you have. Yes, go ahead. Would you, would you like to hear sure. the story? Because it makes me angry. Do it. Mm, wait, hold is on. It, is it the Let Airbnbs? Me. Yeah, so with, the, with this one, the reason that the total is so high, uh, as you can see, there are two Airbnb yes. uh, withdrawals. 
I guess, payments. $109, 649 Yes. Yeah. So I had one intent of housing and it fell through. Um, and so that was while I was in Atlanta. And so I had to call my mom and ask her to find me housing. Those are for the same place or not? I don't know. I was stayed in one place for like oh two weeks. Oh wait, there is an additional two hundred forty three dollars as well. There is the so okay. So yeah, so there's one place that like I had to book for three days and then mom was on the phone with that hostess and they were like, Oh, oh okay, we'll get this figured out because this room isn't actually <laughs> taken up. So then I was able to stay with them for like two and a half weeks and then I had to book another place for a weekend and luckily there was someone from a church while I was visiting there who housed me for the last two weeks. Mm. So yes, that was Yeah, so it just became a mess and then Yeah, and unfortunately I now cannot pay for certain career things that I was intending to, which also would have helped pay off other things. Thousand one hundred sixteen dollar mm-hmm. balance at the time of this. What is still due on this at the, at this moment? None. None? You paid this off? Yeah, I paid it off. Good. And you took that from savings or you just... Um, it was a mix of some savings, some some paychecks. Okay. I can't tell you the but percentage. You just I don't remember. I was just things? like... Yeah. There was, there was a lot of cutting back. There was a lot of um, leaning on family members. How so? Um, so before I came back down to Austin, I stayed with my sister for a week, um, which it, on one hand boo because like no income for that week oh yeah but um but also i didn't have to pay for gas or groceries true or yeah. much of anything i think there were like three meals that i had to pay for and that's just because what i was doing that week and that was what i had time for okay um and then the week after that i was with my mom and dad helping my mom with something and so one she got a lot of groceries for me because she happened to make a Costco run. So that helped me out <laughs> significantly. I was like, I need ham, cheese, and mayonnaise because, <laughs> and bread because I have two weeks of work coming up and I need meals for those. Um, so that helped out. And then also, you know, not having to pay for other things at that time. What is Philip 66? Gas station. Okay, good. What yeah, is range usually, go? Huh? What is Rains Co? Rains County. That is where I'm from. So that is also gas. Most Good. of most of these transactions will be Pilot gas. Pilot is gas as well? Yes. Good. I we do have an Amazon purchase. Yes. C-E-F-C-O. I'm also guessing is gas. It is. <laughs> I can tell you which of those are not gas if that's easier. <laughs> the, well, I assume the movie thing and the varsity. <sighs> yeah. Probably. So the movie thing. Sorry, mom. I'm going to call you out. I was going to let it slide. <laughs> so my mom texted me. It was my birthday. And she's like, go to a movie. It'll be my treat. I'll reimburse you. She hasn't <laughs> reimbursed me. <laughs> I I feel bad about that all the time. And I don't want her to be like, oh, I'm so sorry. And like, blah, blah, blah. So I just, yeah, I just it, swallowed man. that. Um, and then the varsity is, I was out with two college friends I hadn't seen in, I don't even know how long, a while. And so we were also celebrating both of our birthdays. And so he's like, hey, someone said we should go to this place. It was disgusting. Don't go. Really? <laughs> it was Jeez. It was just this fast food place. It sounds like it would be a fast food place, but it was. It was just hamburgers and hot dogs. <laughs> so. <laughs> now these student loans. Okay. You're making $400 payments mm-hmm. a month. It's mm-hmm. a lot. What's your overall balance? Um, so coming out of college, it was $40,000. Mm-hmm. What's it now? Um, I'd have. To look. Would you like him to look real quick? Do you have Credit Karma? No. Go ahead and download Credit Karma real quick. Ooh, credit score of 727. Pretty good. How old did you say you were? 24. Very good. Nice. A lot of 24-year-olds will be jealous of that. (laughs) Credit card use is at 32%. Looks like it just hasn't caught that you've paid it off yet. So... When it does, you'll probably gain a couple points there. I also just got a statement today, if that makes any difference. Do you, how, how do you do your credit cards? Do you pay them off every single month? Do you ever hold a balance? Mm-mm. Good. And with the exception of October, it usually does not have a high balance. Gotcha. 
and I only spend what I know I will have. What are the interest rates on your student loans? Uh, that is something I would have to... I have it on the spreadsheet if you want me to just open that up real quick sure. on my laptop. We, yeah, go ahead and do that. I'll keep looking at this. So, yeah, we have your student loans. Mm -hmm. And we have hard inquiries, Capital One. So that's where mm -hmm. you applied for your credit card. Very good. What's your car situation? Um, I am currently paying off... Uh, okay. So, so, from a small town, we own a business. Um, there is a card that was a company card that um, employee no longer worked there. I got in a wreck last year. I am now paying for that car via deposits into my father's account, and it's just okay. $100 a month. 100 bucks a month? Yeah. For how long? Was it a year? Just a whole year? One year? I so $1,200? They, it was, yeah, it was relatively low. And it was something that he worked out with mom. And what is the car? The car is, so it's a $100 monthly payment to be the total of 3000 Okay, how much longer is left? That. When did you start? Um, I think I started... Because I know I got in the wreck in October, but then I was driving my mom's car. So this just started? So three no. years from now? Huh? But yeah, theoretically, yeah. I think I've just started paying it in February. I actually think I got the car when February. I moved here. Yeah. Actually, I think oh, that's what okay. happened. So like, so like during my transition here, yeah. Okay. And what year is the car? 2017. It's a 2017 Kia Soul. Oh, I think you got a good deal, didn't you? $3,000. Yeah, my father is And the student loans interest rates? Yes. So here is my breakdown. Use okay, so me. yeah. So we have one at an interest rate of 5%, 4.5, 4 4.45, and 2.75. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're definitely attacking those groups, uh, the highest ones first, right? Yes. Good. Yeah, this is the order that I'm paying them off uh, Subsidized first, right? Subsidized is the. These are all federal, though, right? Not private. There's no private ones. I don't think so. Yeah, I'm I think pretty they're, sure all, they're federal. all federal. Yeah. Yeah, I also okay. was only able to get out of college with that low of a student loan because of my mother. Because for the first three years, she moved up to Arkansas and worked at the university. Oh. So I got seventy-five percent off tuition. Oh, that's good. Well, what? Well, I mean, the average student loan debt that people graduate with is like around, oh crap, what was it? Was it forty? Oh, I don't, I don't remember. But even with your seventy-five percent discount, mm -hmm. this is a ton. It's at thirty-six thousand eight hundred fifty-nine right now. Yes, so. it was a private Christian university, though, so that is why I'm like low. Yes. Because it private. definitely. Why go to private college? I loved it, and I regret nothing. I w I legit. I'd take on more loan and go there again. Okay, no, I'm not saying like I'm going to. I'm saying like if we went back in time and they're like, what was hey, so good about you it? You can go the, the people, the classes, the ex, like just everything. It is what made me who I am today. Um, you don't think you would get that at literally any other institution? You know, everyone's very patriotic about the school they went to, and they think it's the best place that ever exists in the whole world. I don't think Harding is the best place that ever existed in the world. I think the people that I met and the people that I interacted with are the best people. And, okay, I don't think... <laughs> I'm not going to dig myself a hole. I love them and adore them with all my being, and they are indeed some of the best people in the world. And those people are who made me what I am today, and those professors... And if there was a different school name that was slapped on it, cool. If it was a different mascot, cool. Like no, I'm just saying, like yeah. everyone thinks they experience something unique at mm -hmm. every institution they go to. But if everyone thinks they're experiencing something unique, really no right. one is. You could have had the same experience somewhere that well, was not as expensive. My two options were... <laughs> I'm going to get judged so hard for this. <laughs> um, majoring in theater at a private Christian university mm -hmm. or joining the core 
and going to A and M. Why were those your two options? Those are the only options that I was interested in. There were no other okay, schools so they, that I really they liked. weren't your they only weren't two like options. My only options. Yeah, I was in top ten percent. Like you just weren't going to negotiate just, with life. Exactly. I am very stubborn and hard headed mm-hmm. about plenty of things. But now you have to pay so. all that those four years back mm-hmm. for a long time. Yeah. And no regrets from that. Okay. None. Oh, well, you already did it, and here's the balance anyway. So thirty six thousand eight hundred fifty nine dollars. Now mm-hmm. those interest rates are actually pretty low. What I don't like is the three thousand dollars in your savings to exist. Okay. You are freelance, mm-hmm. meaning in my mind you are your own business. I would right. have minimum six months. Minimum, I would go maybe even up to like nine months of living expenses when you're your own business. I have a year now for an emergency mm-hmm. fund, like because I am, this is my business. Right. So I do a year. If you have, you know, kind of a bi-weekly paycheck job, I think mm-hmm. six months is fine. You, with your rent, with your food, with everything that is required with different payments, mm-hmm. say you need a minimum $1,750 in your hand to just survive mm-hmm. on a monthly basis. I think you need to have at least $15,000 sitting in that account that is literally never touched. It is never touched. That's what needs to be there, and you don't have that right now. That would be awesome, but no, I, I don't, and that exactly. would take a long time for that to save up. It because would, it, but there's it ways took a, to do it. Yeah, it took a while for it to even get to 3000 Once it got mm-hmm. to 3000 because I wouldn't even touch. Like, if this were, if this situation happened... I don't even know how many months ago, but like I just decided the 3000 minimum mm-hmm. this year. And that's because mm-hmm. my bank account, like that savings account finally reached 3000 Okay, but new plan. Okay. We're not... No, I've completely lost it. I've completely lost <laughs> I'm it. I'm sorry. I, I don't know. I mean, like... That's I would, the first time that's ever happened. Yeah, but, I would love for there to be a high one. It's just... Well, you can. Because... because we can. We'll talk about ways to do it, but well, yeah, whether sure. or not you do it. It's just like over time and gradual. It's just saying like right now, no, 3000 is the minimum that, because that's what I can do. That's an emergency, and you can do a lot more than that. And we'll talk about how to do that. Okay. That's an emergency, not having an emergency fund. Your student loans, in my mind, at mm-hmm. the interest rates they are, are not an emergency. What we're going to do, 400 is the minimum monthly payment, right? Or are you paying yes. extra? No, that's the okay. um, I'm paying like $2 extra. <laughs> no more extra whatevers. No more extra whatevers. <laughs> because the interest rates are what they at. One, at that 5%, it's a little there. But because the emergency fund and the way you are doing your career path is such an emergency to have, and we've seen that by you having to pull money from it already mm-hmm. in just the statements that we've looked at. That's more of an emergency than a 5% thing. So you're doing your minimum monthly payments on there. You're setting your, so that's the 10% set aside for that on a monthly basis. Mm-hmm. Perfect. And the 25%, I don't know why you do percentages instead of just the amount, but it's fine. Because not every paycheck is the same. Well, I know if not every paycheck is the same, what if you get lower ones and 10% doesn't equal the $400 necessary to pay off your student loans? Why isn't it just the flat amount? On a monthly basis. Um, I don't know. I think it was the easiest way for me to figure it out in that moment because it was, okay. this was at the beginning of me doing freelance. And that was also, this This percentage has like changed multiple times because originally at the very beginning I was doing a lot of corporate, which meant I was sure. getting paid more than you do for rock and roll. What I think I would like to see you do is open something with Ally. And Ally has a bunch of different buckets. It's, it's just another bank account, but... You'll use that instead. And in this, when you get paid, you will put your mandatories aside. You'll put your rent in the rent bucket, Mm -hmm. not as a percentage, but as what you need that month to do it. You'll put your student loans in that bucket, and it'll automatically take from that bucket. You'll have it linked. Okay. And you'll do the... You can, op- you can keep your savings in there. It's not really creating any good interest in that. I'd open up the Ally savings as well, so it at least keeps up with normal inflation. Uh, at, uh, I think Ally is close to 3% now on a yearly basis that you would be gaining in okay. interest. So that's good. But you'll you, so you can put your savings in there, and then the 10% of the savings, we're going to need to do something about that. But either way, the buckets. So you put your student loans, your rent, and utilities in your mm-hmm. buckets. And then I think maybe you have a food bucket as well. Okay. Now, like, are you saying like groceries? Groceries. Groceries specifically because you're not going to touch a restaurant. You're not going to even look at a Culver's sign driving down the street. I'm going to be honest. I don't even know what Culver's is. Well, you went there, so. I'm starting to wonder if it was a 
gas station. <laughs> It's not a gas station. It's not. I don't know. What, what is? Can you burgers? I don't remember. Burgers and frozen custards. So, I like. Oh, it. I probably, I probably got a frozen custard. I guess is what it was. Yeah, I and don't it's remember very when or where this was. Either way. <laughs> Sorry. And then a, a tax bucket as well. Okay. Yeah. Which is fine. Mm-hmm. Now, after we're, we're, we're forgetting the savings. Okay. So a thousand two hundred fifty dollars a month on average is what we have before the savings. After all the buckets are hit, except for the food. From there, from food, mm-hmm. I say you don't spend any more than $350 a month on groceries. You're going to get the cheapest groceries. What? $350 is simple. I know. It's more than what I use. Oh, okay. Cool. Then we're going to do $250. Sounds great. Okay. So $250. Perfect. That leaves you with $1,000. Okay. What are we doing with the $1,000? Are there other things that you have Ideally to Ideally putting are it in savings. <laughs> are you paying for your insurance right now, health insurance? Or are you on your parents' plan? Still on my parents. Good. We'll keep it there. That's perfect. The Are there any other payments that we're not thinking about? We're probably thinking gas. Got to get some gas, right? Yeah, gas. Uh, I think I average 500 a month. It depends. It de- okay. That's half the remaining. Ab- I know. No. It, depend- it depends on where the gigs are. And also... Do they compensate for the, 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 the travel? Some do. It dep- Okay, so some, it depends on the gigs. Some, I was traveling a lot over the summer, and I was driving back and forth to Arkansas because I had a lot of weddings this summer. Well, you said average 500, so that's just what we have to take, meaning there's $500 <laughs> left. And you budget that $500. Now, other than that, those are your necessities to survive and continue doing what you're doing. That other $500 has to go into savings has to yeah not just hold well, the 10 percent. so it's only a hundred dollars more than you're doing right now which isn't that crazy so we need to think okay what can we do obviously when you're freelancing you're not always working right i'm working on either applying for future mm-hmm. gigs i'm working on my craft so i can do the things i actually want to do because what i'm yeah. doing right now isn't my preferred thing what i want to do is stunts and all of that and so i currently i'm already like taking back on things because I should be doing jujitsu. I should be doing this. I should be doing that. You know, to, should be, but I'm not because I know that I can't afford that. So I'm working out at home. I'm doing the other things. And we, let, let's get you on the path, but we need a place of survival okay. first. You okay. surviving is most important. So every single second that you are awake, that you are not, because this is a legit emergency that you do not have an emergency fund. That's scary. That could like, End your financial existence if worse comes to worse right now because okay. $3,000 is nothing for your lifestyle and for the city you live in, unfortunately. Oh, I'm also about to move. Where are you moving to? Atlanta. Okay, so it's, it's, it's also expensive. It's, yeah, it's not. And that's fine. That's yeah. fine. Uh, you'll need to save some money to start moving too. So. Well, I, I haven't at, talked to them, but I will be moving in with someone else who will be housing me. Is the goal in her. Every second, you're not working mm-hmm. a gig. Mm-hmm. We're not applying for a gig. Mm-hmm. Uber Eats, DoorDash. Uber Eats, DoorDash. Yes. Because here in Austin, no. they make a lot of money. Why no? <laughs> because that takes away from time that I could be working on things that could... Like, I don't get a lot of downtime. So uh-huh. I either need time to rest so I can actually You know what you need more than work? rest? An emergency fund to survive. <laughs> Okay. There are preferences. What it, what it comes down to are sacrifices. Are people willing to take sacrifices? I'm hearing no right now, but... I'm, what, it, I will be honest, I'm, I'm not. The extra little things that you want to do, like the jujitsu and stuff, cool. We do that after we have a place of right. you being able to survive. Right. So every single second extra goes to those extra things that will bring in an extra few hundred dollars a month. And every single few hundred dollars a month that you take... Goes to the savings account, and that getting to fifteen thousand all of a sudden doubles the time, maybe even triples how or uh, uh, in terms of getting there quicker, mm-hmm. if that makes sense. Okay. Why extend this out to why take twenty four months to hit the emergency fund that you are required to have in order to survive a basic life? You haven't even started your financial journey yet. You don't have investments in anything like that. Right. This is what's required to start. Why wait 24 months to do that when you could just speed this up by having a few unpleasant months because you're always working your
off and going crazy every moment of every day to bring in every penny possible and then all of a sudden you have this done in like nine months that would be incredible and then all of a sudden your future starts your future hasn't even started yet your future doesn't even exist because you don't have the most base level thing needed to start mm -hmm. why because i have different priorities than average people there are certain things so it's not a priority for you to be able to survive it is. It's just my version and definition of surviving is different from other people's. If I have to live in, if I have to live with my parents, like if that's what it comes down mm -hmm. to, in order to keep my personal priorities, in order to save time for God, in order to go to church, in order to have time with the people that I love, so then I am a like fully functioning human and I'm not just a like, we're going to not cuss on air. <laughs> um, but in order to just not be the most miserable thing to be around, in order to actually be able to function and do work so then more people continue to ask me to be on better gigs that pay better. Miserable thing to be around for only a few months so you can be way better than you are now. But if I'm miserable for those few months, imagine how many gigs I'm working that people are like, oh, she's not, I don't, I don't want her on future oh, gigs. Instead yeah. of me being sure. like every, that's when, every gig that I show up to. So that's why, I, mm -hmm. that's why I need rest. That's why I need this. So then I can No, actually, that's great. People wake yeah. up every single day and didn't have the most pleasant day. And then they act like professionals when they show up to work. That's what you will do. You will not allow yourself to be tired, to be miserable because of that. You act like a, an when adult. When I say miserable, I mean like tired and I'm barely pushing myself along. Like, yeah, I can fake it, but it, I will not be the same person that is getting gigs and being asked to well, join. Well, remember, I said every second things. that isn't sleeping. So you are making right. sure you're taking care of yourself. Sleep and rest are not the same thing. That's my thing. I need time. I need time to read my Bible. I need time to pray. I need time to just what, How much time relax. does that take out of the week? Out of the week? Yeah, in reality. An hour? Seven two hours. hours? No, seven hours. An hour every day. Seven hours. Okay. I'm, There's 24 hours left. You're sleeping right. for eight of it, right? So nine. Seven. Okay, so, so eight hours is taken so far. Mm -hmm. Are you applying for gigs the other whatever rest is? What is that? 16 I'm hours? I'm either editing wedding videos, editing photos. Are you getting paid for those? Uh, some yes, some no. If the ones you're not getting paid for, we don't even think about that right now. We're making money so you can get what's needed to survive. Again, you don't have the most basic functional finances. Mm -hmm. Why does that not matter to you? Why don't you want to be in a place I where just, all of a sudden you'll be able to do any gig you want? I can do any gig I want. Not really, because you need to I am doing any gig I want. Should I be working for corporate? Yeah. Should I be making $35 an hour? Sure. Am I taking the pay cut and doing $18 an hour because I would much rather be enjoying what I do mm -hmm. rather than just being a lump on a log every day? Yes. Those are my priorities. Those are the things that I always set out to do when I was a kid, and I will not... I will, I do you not won't. feel like you're forced to take some every once in a while, though, in order to meet that month's rent? Forced... No, if it comes along and I don't have anything else booked, yeah, that's what I'll do. So is retirement not important to you? Retirement, in a weird way, is more of a theoretical thing, I guess. What? I don't, that, okay, that sounds really weird. It's, I think it's just the way my brain processes things. Um, and no, it is not the biggest um like right now in this moment it is not the biggest um so mathematically speaking thing. you are in the best 10 years of your life currently to take advantage of compound interest in order to have the most amount of money possible by the time you retire and by you not having retirement starting right now mm -hmm. you're going to be well disadvantaged going forward if you don't start doing retirement in your 30s you're going to be incredibly disadvantaged for right. not being I'm forced not saying, to like, work I'm in your 60s i'm not going to do it before i turn 30, I just... Well, you know, in order to be able to invest, you have to have what right. we talked about, though. Right. But you're not willing to do the sacrifices necessary so in order I'm not going to do, do Uber about. Eats or anything like that. I... Why? Why that specifically? Because they make great money here in Austin. Great money. I'm talking like people People I've talked to are bringing in like $80,000 a year. I believe it. And I'm happy for them. But that's just not something... I can do nor something I want to do. And so the We're not things, talking about wants right now. We're talking about what you need I to do. I understand we're not talking about wants. But like Why do you think it's not something you need to do? Remember, a thousand eight hundred dollars right. is what was brought in on that last month. That we looked at. 
On that statement specifically. On that yes. statement, but that's all we have to go off of. I mean, thir- every well, thirty. Well, to be fair, every thirty some days. Some of those inca- Some of those. I know, but every thirty days are going to be different, and that was that right. thirty days. Mm-hmm. I don't know. All all I know is the things that I'm looking at to bring in extra money are different, um, remote gigs. Mm-hmm. So like editing pictures for someone, editing whatever for someone. I haven't, I will be honest, I haven't like actually taken any of those gigs yet. I have it set up to where I'm ready to, but because I've been traveling, I haven't. And so that's something that I will be looking at this week, in fact. And so just my preference of side income is different from other people's and I respect people who do DoorDash and do all that. It's just different interact or not different interactions, but different, um, I guess, interactions that I've had with either those companies or those situations. And it just, dude, I I don't care what position is bringing in the money. As Mm -hmm. long as you are working, that gives you something money related every second of every day. But currently we're not. Because we need it to looks, get to that $15,000. Like that's, that's the frustrating thing for me is it looks like we're not. You only have 3000 like, in there. I see that. I, like, I know that. Okay. I know that physically, How do you get I do an extra $12,000 right now? How do I get an extra $12,000? Yeah. Booking gigs. That's the only way that I would be able to do that. that You're not I, willing not to do anything Not the only way, else. but that. Well, gigs for different things. So... So in your mind, you enjoying what you're doing to make the money is more important just for a few mm -hmm. months, just for a few months for your entire financial rest of your decades, a few months of happiness is more important than decades of incredible wealth. I just don't care about money. I'm going to be honest. Like I don't, as long as I have enough to survive. So what are you going to do when you're 16 and you're forced to like, Keel over on the Walmart floor because you're forced to work in order to pay that month's rent. Because you never I, saved up enough to get a mortgage. What do you do in that situation? I won't be keeling over in a Walmart floor. I will be busting my butt at gigs. I will be I so. working theater. Like I expect to be working at 60. Mm-hmm. That's why I haven't really thought about retirement. You're okay I expect with being to be forced like, to though? Like what if you had a medical thing where all of a sudden you're like, oh crap, my back is bad because you did a bad stunt or something. Uh, and then all of a sudden you can't work. What do you do? Because you didn't take the mature choice in your past to take care of your financial future. Then I guess I have to take a different job with something else that I don't like as much. Why wouldn't you rather do that exact thing right now for a few months instead of potentially being forced to do that in your later years? Because why take a job that I don't like as much to where it takes away from time that I could have where I could be training and working up to where I want to be? Well, you asked why. I mean, the answer I've already answered. So you have any basic sense of financial success in life? Well, I know this is counting my chickens before they hatch, but... If I get to do what I want to do. So your financial future is hope? Hope and faith, yeah. That's what got me through October as well. Did I have any of those books gigged, gigs booked whenever I booked the, that Airbnb? No. And guess what? The money came through. My priorities are different, like I said. So I understand that to the average person, my financial situation is not great. No, the average okay person is much worse than you, actually, <laughs> to be very clear. Um, but we're trying to make sure you're not even close to average. Which is fair. But I'm okay with being average. <laughs> like I, am. I know that's not what you want to hear. And like I know there are probably plenty of people who are watching this who are like, yo, you have all this opportunity. Make the money. 